Version 12 of the Timer Pro for the Android and the iPad devices contains new fields. And you will know if you load up a template from an earlier version of the Timer Pro uh, that you have a problem when you see blank entries at the top and at the bottom here. And you can see here my version 11. Here's a version 11 uh, template. It was developed on the 5th of uh, February 2014. So what we want to do is we have to update the older templates to run in version 12. It's actually very, very simple. Just open up the Excel sheet that was used to create the original template. And you notice down here in row 32, it says this one is version 11. This particular one was developed in 5.27.2015. So this is prior to version 12. All you have to do is say download to device again. Select the type of device you're dealing with. In this case, it's going to go to an Android and then find the location where you want to put the file. And of course, we've already got information on that. You probably want to do something like uh, PDA time studies. Templates for the device, these would be your blank ones. And just say, save it. And the file is probably already going to be there if it's the previous one. Do you want to replace it? Say yes. Now what's happening now, it's using the version 12 routine to create the data to go into the iPad or the Android device, and therefore it will be 100% compatible. It says it's ready, so I'm just going to go and locate it. Templates for the device, and it's going to be this one, the DB3 file. I copy it from here. I drag it down here and I put it into my Timer Pro data on my Android device. And of course, I'm going to overwrite the one that's already there. Say yes. And then if I bring back up my device here, so you can see the current version does not have the button at the top here with any contents and the button at the bottom here. I just go to my select template. I reselect the one that I just brought back down. And it will come in with the appropriate uh, headings in here for the new template and the Dropbox. So again, to update previous studies to version 12, just bring them back up in Excel and resave them again and download them into the device again.